Yeah. I support Reverend Bullock, and I support Reverend Bullock because Reverend Bullock could have gone anywhere to work when he left Morehouse College. He came back here to his community. And if you don't think that it makes a difference who your city council and your mayor people are, your person elected to mayor, you are mistaken. The reason that the city of Detroit is under attack right now is because your elected officials, the people we put in office, are allowing what has happened to take place. Your mayor and your city council could have stopped Kevin Orr a long time ago, but they chose not to because they are complicit. Reverend Bullock has already demonstrated that he has our back. Right. He is going to, for us, he is not going to be compromised. He is not going to compromise when it comes to what is in the best interest of us here in this city. And so one thing that I learned is that I didn't do my job in this last primary, even though I came in third. And Reverend Bullock, you can do it even though they're spending a whole lot of money to defeat you. You go out there every night and you speak the truth. And That's you keep it. speaking yeah. the truth. Right. And you can be victorious. But one thing that I learned is that I didn't do my job because some of my friends took pictures of their ballots when they went in and voted for me. And they voted for some of the same city council persons who got us in the mess that we're in. So I was concentrating on the city council, I mean on the mayor's race. We all need to come here right now and tell people when we go home tomorrow and from now until November, that if somebody is on that ballot who is responsible for the conditions that we suffer right here and now, they should not build that little circle in next to their name. I don't care how much money that person has, I don't care how many ads you see on television, there are people on that ballot who do not have the best, our best interest at home. That's right. We need to make sure that we tell folks who to vote for, and it is Reverend Bullock. It is not, I'm going to say, do not vote for Sartell Jenkins. Do not vote, I'm just going to call him. Do not, I have nothing to lose, I'm off the ballot. Do not vote for Sartell Jenkins, do not vote for James Tate, and do not vote for James, uh, Andre Spivey. Vote for Reverend Bullock, tell your friends. Thank you very much.